hello guys uh, welcome to this channel and I'm thinking about starting starting a new series regarding end reflection development in Kotlin uh, yes uh, I've already done some videos uh, on Android application in Java but now I'm thinking about doing a series in Kotlin so with this COVID-19 situation uh, I'm trying to utilize my time uh, and also trying to teach you teach you something uh, regarding Android application development and we're going to do it in Kotlin so the first video is going to be a very simple application uh, where I'll be introducing a few concepts about how to use how to use functions and also get some result using it so let's start so I have Android Studio 3.6.1 so start a new Android project go for empty activity now next I'm going to name it like okay my Kotlin app or something okay and I'm going to have a separate please place for these so these are YouTube tutorials and then Kotlin okay and then please please select the primary language to be Kotlin okay uh, you can just choose finish and let the project build itself Okay, now my griddle is building there are many many folders and files being created here I try to explain some uh, uh, some major files and folders to you uh, once this griddle builds complete okay now my griddle build seems to be complete so I'll take you step by step first of all I'd like to point you out that view here is an Android view so the first file I would like to take you across is manifest file uh, this is like a controller of your application where you define your activities activities uh, some kind of some kind of server keys if you have yeah and and yeah, things like that and then you also uh, if you're also using some hardware then yeah you have to take user you have to ask for user request in order to use that also so, so those things are also going to be based in manifest overall this is the main main heart of your application and the second folder I'd like to point you is a Java folder here well uh, we're doing it in Kotlin but yeah the Android structure uh, uh, presents you with this structure so yeah the folder name is Java the first folder inside Java you see here is our package name uh, you also see that in our manifest file the package name here okay uh, inside package name we have our one activity called main activity remember I told you your Android manifest should consist of name of activities activities in your application I'll also come into detail about that later on right now all you need to know is here's a main activity uh, predefined for you and then that main activity has been defined in your manifest in terms of activity let me take you to this category here in category you can see that the category name is android.intent.category.launcher which means once you open your once you open your android application the first class that is going to be run well you're going to see the layout but each and every layout will be associated with a with a class or an activity so the first so the first activity that is going to run there is a main activity well in in main activity you're going to see a layout which is associated in this way I'll also I'll also talk about this later on don't worry guys so yeah this layout is activity underscore main and then you can also see a preview of this uh, somewhere here yeah so this is going to be your be the layout that you're going to be that you're going to be seeing now where is this layout folder let me go into res folder your third folder here we have a uh, few subfolders here the the first subfolder drawable you'll ha uh, you will you'll be keeping your image files especially in the drawable folder your layout folder again will consist your ui files here as as activity underscore main file is placed the other folder is values folder uh, where you will be keeping your color definitions color definitions your strings your fixed string definitions and also your uh, application themes and styles here the 
other two files I'm going to show you is Gradle file. Gradle file is a main building block of your Android application. What this Gradle does is it compiles your layout, uh, layout file or UI file, and then and then the class file and also the manifest file, and then builds a complete APK, APK file from those. So uh, if we see the first build dot Gradle all around project Kotlin app these has all these dependencies and then and then class paths here we have a kotlin kotlin class path here defined so yeah this script is going to be applicable for all of your uh for your entire project and then and then uh, if we go to the second build or gradle file well this this gradle is going to be applicable for your application only here so yeah what i'd like to show you here is here are some libraries or or dependencies that we're going to be using uh, as you can see we we have used we have used app compat library here constant layout which i'll come to later on j unit these are actually unit testing libraries which we're not going to talk about right now but will come in the later section okay so now let's not waste any time and then go on and build our ui this first application is going to be very simple we're not going to do any anything complicated i just want to show you how uh, how you can how you can basically define your layout how you can connect it to to your class file class file declare functions or like how you can relate your components from your ui file and then introduce them in class file and finally build a simple application on your own so go to activity underscore main let me delete everything and then do everything from the base so that you don't get confused like where i started uh, so hit a tag let's start with linear layout i'll explain this later on or like i might have explained this i'll check it out if i have explained this in terms of java also you can go and check it out on on those videos i think i think i've already explained about these in previous videos of mine so yeah the first one is width that is match that is match parent the width indicates this uh, the length or the view from here to here and then if we give match parent it just takes the dimension of your screen and then fits it to the dimension of your screen similarly the height we should also occupy the entire height as you see now now your entire screen is covered here in terms of linear layout we need an orientation uh, so like orientation is like how you want to arrange your components uh, in case of linear layout your components can either be placed vertically one after the other uh, or horizontally so yeah we're going to choose vertical here i'll show you i'll show you how it happens or like how it works if even if we place it horizontally the the other sub component i think i think yeah this is it so now what i'd like to do is um, i would like to not end it there but end end my linear layout here now inside this linear layout uh, i'm going to define my components so i'll start with a button here so okay button let me give uh, a wrap content here okay i'll explain it to you what wrap content does here too so okay wrap content let me introduce a text here also close this already okay introduce a text here as you can see you have a button here now so now if i write suppose add my number uh, i'm not sure if you notice this or not but the screen size gradually increases or the or the size of the component gradually increases as i increase my contents here see so so yeah that's what wrap content does it takes your content text content and then arranges the size based on based on the size of that that content here so i just like to keep add here for now because i don't want to make it any any more complicated uh, okay and then and then i'm going to give an id here uh, an id is a unique reference uh, which uh, by which the components in ui file can be associated with components in your class file I'll, I'll talk about these also later on in detail okay for now just remember the syntax uh, it's android colon id equals to 
at the rate plus id slash you can give any id you want so let me write btn add. okay if i add another button here since my orientation is vertical as you can see so the second button is going to come exactly below the add button here so i'll write text and subtract since it's a wrap content now you can see there's a difference in the size size of these two components here okay and give me and give it an id of at the rate at the rate plus id btn sub okay uh, i'd like to i'd like to add two more uh, two more components here to give our number uh, so give it an edit text edit text is a component where you can enter where you where you can click the keyboard appears and then you can type contents in so yeah we're going to we're going to have two edit text to type two numbers and then either add the result or subtract the result between them so yeah the first objective of your application is going to be that okay so i'd like to place match parent here okay if you notice what you, what match parent does in terms of height here is it looks for the okay uh, i placed android layout width equal to match parent so now what match parent does here is uh, it goes to its parent and then look how much width it is it is consuming since it's consuming the full width full width of the screen hence the component will also consume full width of the screen suppose if I change this match parent to maybe 50 dp as you can see what happens is now this match parent will will not consume the entire screen but it will consume the screen consumed by its parent element so yeah match parent on the on the very top element or on the root element root element uh, in this case is a linear layout if you give a match parent it looks at the dimension of the screen but inside inside the root element if you're placing components and if you keep match parent there then it looks for the space consumed by the root element there okay so yeah don't get confused about that uh, i think uh, it's going to be simple as you gradually gradually go on doing this i'd like to give an id again because i'm going to need this so let me write uh, et first first okay and then I can also give a hint here so that you don't get confused while running the application so enter your first number so yeah that's it so that's it uh, now we can also change the type of keyboard that appears so so yeah if you if you have if you have noticed uh, whenever you're typing whenever there's a field in applications uh, where you have to type a phone number then only the number screen pops up and and then where you have to write name address and things like that the entire keyboard or the or the standard key, keyboard layout comes up so yeah you, you can change that you can change it using input type here we are only going to pass a number here so it can be a number decimal too so yeah we're going to give number decimal okay we have another edit text here we need another edit text so let it be match parent wrap content the id is going to be okay 80 second i guess yeah uh hint let me type enter your second number and input type again can be a number decimal okay so i guess it's done uh if we want to show the result to okay Okay, for now we're, go we're just going to show the result in our toast message, which I'm going to tell you tell you about later on. Okay, so our first first application and the UI of first application is done. Now I'm going to show you how to connect this UI to your Kotlin class. So yeah, we go to our Kotlin class. Uh, if you if you're familiar with Java, then this syntax actually is public class main activity extends okay the column represents extends which represents inheritance and then app combat activity so app combat activity is a base class somewhere okay 
and we're just extracting that class or like extending that class which means we're extending the properties of that class to you to be used in to to be used in main activity uh well uh one point one point you should remember is any android application always has to have at least one activity as as a launcher activity which means uh, once you open any application the first ui you're going to see is always associated with an activity it it at least has to has one activity and that activity actually has a life cycle i'm not going to go into details into uh, details of android android activity life cycle right now but all i need to tell you is uh, the first method we always need here is on create method this here actually connects our layout layout to the class file here so so like our our ui name is activity underscore main and then and then the class we are trying to associate the layout file is main activity so yeah we just give set content view r dot layout dot activity underscore main now if you remember we have four components on in our layout let's go and check them edit text two edit text and two buttons so let me define functions for the two operations that i have i'm just going to write fun okay now remember the syntax so like add numbers add numbers will we're going to pass two argument here the first variable be a which is going to be an integer or float I'm just going to keep integer for now okay we'll keep float because we're not sure what we're going to give here okay okay float and then B is also going to be a float because we we would be allowing uh, some some numbers like 2.5 or 2.7 2.7 things like that and at last we're going to insert a return type integer So if you were writing this this exact function in Java, this is how you would write it: public void. Sorry, public integer add numbers float a float b. So yeah, this used to be a syntax in Java. Well, that same syntax has been changed in this way in Kotlin. So. What we want to do is we just want to return a plus b from here oh sorry we would like to return a float number here sorry float number because our numbers are float so again another for subtracting our numbers a float b float and the return type is again going to be a float so return a minus b okay so yeah these are the two functions that we're going to be calling so now we're going to place we're going to place clicks on our two buttons which are uh, btn add and btn sub so let's go ahead and then keep uh, keep them here so btn add from activity underscore main for activity dot set on click listener okay this is how you place click on click listener okay so on click listener is actually an interface here if we go and check it out on click listener is an interface which has a function function void on click here so yeah we're going to write something inside inside that exact function here uh, void on click function so what we want to do is we want to extract two numbers two numbers and then pass those numbers to this add function and then get the result so I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to store store the result in some variable var a uh, equals to numbers so the first number I'm going to extract is from et first 
dot text dot to string well if you remember uh, the the number we are trying to pass is actually a float but we have extracted string well edit text actually does not have any fixed data type so the first at first we want to bring our numbers in in string format and then after that we want to parse it back to float so float dot uh, where is that function okay. okay so what we're going to do is dot to you know, float so it's done again the second number is going to be et second dot text which extracts the text from 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 this component it is second here from the second component and then we're going to first convert it into string and then to float so yeah and after this we're going to display this message in a toast so toast is like a pop-up message here toast.matrix we need a context so we're going to give application context here or we're going to be giving this simply uh, in terms of message since uh, the the data type here is float and we need to show a string message so we're just going to concatenate with this empty string and then convert it and then convert it into string and then uh, the duration of our uh, of our toast message so length short dot show okay similarly i think you can now add uh, now do do your subtract operation i want you to pause the video and then do it on your own uh, and then you can just resume the video and then uh, see see how i see how i do it if you if there's any problem so just pause the video and then go ahead okay i i hope you've solved it on your own so yeah i'm going to do it again bdn sub dot set on click listener on click listener now we are a since it's a local variable so i can do this sub numbers i need two values et first dot text sorry text dot to string dot to float and then et second dot text dot to string dot to float okay and then I just need to display this in our toast message again. Toast dot make text. I want you not to copy this from above, but I want you to type it on your own so that you get you get a habit habit around with this code. Plus a comma toast dot length short. Okay dot show. Okay, it's done. So this concludes our first application. If if we look at the manifest here, our main activity is already defined. We haven't changed anything. So yeah, I think now you can run this application on your phone itself. So yeah, I've connected my phone here. Uh, my phone is shown here, Xiaomi, Redmi Note 7. I'm just going to run this application on my phone. Just hit play. Uh, we'll wait for Gradle to build. I'll try to show you the screen if if I can but yeah uh, even if I don't I'll just let you know uh, if the application is running correctly or not or like if I get any errors or not okay hey guys sorry I could not show you my screen right now but the application seems to be running perfectly fine uh, well you can try it on your own and then and then uh, if you run into any problems you can just comment down below uh, you can subscribe to our channel so that you can you stay updated with every new videos that i upload uh, i'll be doing this almost daily because uh, since i am in covid 19 quarantine right now here in thailand so uh, i have a lot of free time free time to do this and then i want to i want to share this knowledge with you through this through this medium so yeah uh, so yeah just subscribe the subscribe the channel and then hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates so, so thank you uh, thank you for staying thank you for doing this and